know the majority, I guarantee you, I don't know where you got those polls, the majority of them do not want this war and would rather have, you know, not be in a war. Um, okay, maybe in your generation. But otherwise, you know, I've seen very bad results. Like, uh, I'm actually going on a Israel trip next year, hopefully. If free, they, free Palestine! Free Palestine! I'm hoping uh, we can go. But basically, our trip is different. It's not like the other ones. We're actually going to meet with Palestinian youth and, and kind of just talk with each other. And See, people have changed now. They don't accept the stories from the Israel government. Another one there. Look, here's the thing. Guy, the International I'm Court sure of Justice, can't. you know, is respected by everybody in the whole world except Israel. Not the whole sure. world. They, they accepted to take the case and fully defended themselves. And I, I don't see what you're talking about. Yeah, and they about. told Israel to back off, you know, with genocidal practices. If Israel yeah. backed off, then maybe they won't be hey, convicted look, of genocide. Not, look, but I know Israel is not conducting this war right. Um, they, I, look, here's, here's, what I'm, here's what I say. I don't, I don't think it's a genocide, but what I do think is that they're not being nearly careful enough. Mm. Uh, and I, I think they, they're like, okay, their, their goal is to eradicate, like, kill Hamas. But in the process, they they don't care what happens in the process. Okay, but their it, goal there, is there is a logic to it. No, it isn't as illogical as you seem to think it is. You know, it's not just a mistake. It's because they have this program that that finds, you know, where the residential home of Hamas fighter is. They have numbers for each house, and they target, and they kill him and his whole family. Well, you have to remember, they do, they actually do a lot of things to prevent, like, to get people out. They drop flyers, they make phone calls. Not anymore. And before, they didn't even follow the flyers. They bombed, you know, the places where the arrows were. Flyers are in Arabic, they call people yeah, in Arabic. Yeah, but they bombed them anyway. Hamas. Okay, what do you think about Hamas, then? Like, do you, do you acknowledge the fact that they don't... It, Hamas they, is theocratic organization, so I don't support them, you know, because they're theocratic and they want to set up a theocratic something, state. Something that they do. But they have learned. They dropped their anti-Semitic 88 uh, charter. They set up a 2017 charter, which is, is okay for Jewish people, per se. It's just they're against Zionism, and they're willing to recognize the state of Israel if Israel recognizes the state of Palestine. Well, do you know what Zionism is then? Because Zionism is just... Having or, uh, the Jews having a right to self-determine. It doesn't mean no. like killing the Palestinians. It's a very particular form of self-determination, which one denies the self-determination of the other indigenous population. Well, sure. I think and in an two, ideal situation, everyone would live in peace and harmony in Israel. Is is calling for the establishment uh, of a state, whereas you know what we need is a, a federation of national cultural autonomy for Jewish people. The Jewish Bundes program for the Jewish independence was called national cultural autonomy. So we'd have our own governments in all of our own home countries, like here in Quebec, but you we're know. All from Israel. And then we would govern our own, you know, like uh, neighborhoods. That's not going to happen. And the fact is, we're all from Israel. That we're we're Jews from Judea, and they kicked, the Romans kicked us out, and now we're all over the world. Yeah, but what about the Sumerians in the north who are still living with the Palestinians, and they are Palestinians? What about half well, of the Israeli the right, Jewish population? They have the right to return too. They're there. They're living there with the Palestinians. Well, look, <laughs> and and what about half of these Jewish Israeli population who are Arabs from yeah, Arab countries? They got kicked out of their Arab countries. Like, then, then maybe not. You know, like no, maybe yes. they, they just came because they thought they'd have a better life. But no, nonetheless, they're they, treated they like they're treated like an government. undercast. They're treated like you know, lower caste of the working class. And that's it. You know, the, the Arab, as the hewers of wood and carriers of water, like the Torah says. Wait, are you talking about the Arab Jews? Yeah, that's not true. true. That, that's not true. Look, I, I've done extensive research. I've well, read multiple some, books. Uh, I constantly read the coming. news. I talk to my Israeli friends who have Arab Israeli friends. Yes. Uh, like they, like the, I'm very, I'm very liberal-minded. I, I'm, but you just, you're just denying a lot of historical facts, and I don't feel like we can have a look good conversation. One, like, the most important thing about October the seventh is that. Their goal was to kill the Jews. Is, is that... No, it wasn't. Yes. First of all, it was to kill the soldiers who were keeping true. them that in a prison. You're de and, and, but secondly, more importantly, is that what Israel has done since then proves that what they did in 1947 was a massacre. And it wasn't, you know, the Palestinians leaving, you know, because they were told to buy a radio announcement, which wasn't true.
You know, this proves what happened in 1947 and in 1949. Are you talking about when Note the... to genocide. There is I agree, no to genocide. But genocide it's a okay, hold on, guys. Before you start screaming at him, I'm, a, I'm on your side, but I'm trying to have a conversation with him. Don't yeah, no, you scream yeah, at him. We're trying to have a conversation. Don't believe horror stories that have no proof, he, he, first of all. His heart is in the right place, but he's... The Palestinians and even... Hamas does not call for the extermination of the Jewish people. Yes, They're not they genocidal. Yes, they read do. their charter of 2017, and you'll know. If you don't read it, you won't know. That's all. We, we, we have friends who have lived through the massacres. That is true. That is true. Can I ask a question? Yeah. It says occupation. So what occupation by Israel? Do you know of Palestine. Which one? I was in the, the West Bank. I, I lived in Nablus. I know what the occupation is. It's like a ghetto. At the entrance to the city is like a, a military checkpoint that shuts down and opens up whenever it wants. That's called a ghetto. You know, and I will not let that happen to the Palestinians because that's what happened to my family in Poland. I'm second generation Holocaust survivor. I know what a Holocaust is, and this is a genocide. Me too. If anything, Palestine is committing the uh, occupation because um, uh, King David was there 500 years before Palestine. King were David, Mabel. You know, there was people there before King David, and also it says in the yeah, Torah that he conquered were, the city of Jerusalem, Muslim, okay, which means Jerusalem, Jerusalem was established before King David. King David did not establish, well, you know, okay, Jerusalem. Yeah, by, by living here, are we occupying Canada? Are you occupying Canada? Against the First Nations, yes. What? yes. The First Nations are not treated correctly here. First Nations, you know, their children were stolen from them, they were put into, and they were killed for speaking their own language? This is Canada. Because I'm, ma I'm making peace with the First Nations. I support them, and I'm making peace with the Palestinians. Palestinians welcome me to live in Nablus. I'm welcome. I'm welcome in Nablus. No problem. Yeah, they made peace with me. I live there. Yeah, with the Israelis too, they are willing to make peace. What do you think Fatah was doing? Yeah, but they, they made peace with them anyway. No, well, they did not. What was the Intifada? Do you know that Eud That was not Fatah. <laughs> Fatah was trying to stop the Intifada. Okay. <laughs> you, know? you know that. was willing to give them 99% of their demands. They almost had their own country. No, no, no. Barak, he left, he left you Camp David. You Barak kept, left Camp Barak David left Camp to have an election David, because he thought he was going to win a majority. And he lost Barak, the election. Was after Barak, an opportunist and Barak, was who blew his historical role. Of their demands. And, and then Rabin was assassinated. You know, this is this is you know what Zionism is. Rabin was assassinated. You know, and he was you know really for Israel. He wanted to save Israel all this misery. I know. He called for the breaking of the legs. I know, but he wanted to make peace anyway. No, because he wanted to make peace. He wanted to make peace, but then, the then there was uh, the Israeli. Yeah, and Palestinian. he wasn't killed by a Palestinian. He was killed by an Israeli, no, an a Zionist. And no, an extremist. Who was killed on October 7 and by who? Who was killed on October 7? The soldiers, Israeli soldiers, 325 soldiers were killed by the Hamas. 200 Hamas fighters were killed as well. It was a battle. That's war. war. If you don't want war, make peace. A treaty. That means mutual recognition, Palestine and Israel. Even Hamas is willing to recognize Israel. 1,123. Okay. Who are terrible conditions, inhumane conditions. What about them? They were peace seekers. They should be released. But so should the Palestinian hostages. You know, since October the 7th, they've taken 4,800, you know, Palestinians and put them in prison without charge. If you say release the kidnapped as well, at least you'll be more legit. But there's a difference, how is, there's a difference between a nine-month-old baby whose crime is being Jewish and a 20-year-old who threw Molotov cocktails. Like... Well, yes, I think they yeah. should get a fair trial. I don't agree with everything, but they are not hostages. They're no, they, 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 they don't. are getting fair trials in Israel. No, they no, no. I was at the I was at the military court in, in Ofra prison for a friend of mine, a student of mine, an English class, you know, and he wrote a comment in Facebook, and he was arrested, you know. <clears throat> was it after October seven? No, this was in two thousand and eighteen, and he was put in prison for three years. 
making a comment on Facebook? Yes. You know what? I can agree with you. There's not everything. Not not everything is 100%. Like.